The front line of the fight against embattled Premier Jason Kenney moved to the steps of the Alberta Legislature again, a group of constituency association presidents flanked by current and former UCP MLAs. Furious, their party has changed its leadership review from in-person to mail-in ballot. They have betrayed the rules and betrayed UCP members. The vote was supposed to take place in person in Red Deer on April 9th, but when 14,000 people signed up to have their say on Kenny, party leadership announced it would be changed to a mail-in ballot now due back mid-May. Meanwhile, Kenny's backbench has splintered in a very public manner. He uh, drove around in a blue truck going town to town, acting like the everyman with his blue jeans on and his top button undone. And then once he got elected, the Ottawa elite came out in him. He should consider the gracious thing to do would be to step down. An audio recording obtained by CBC News reveals how close Kenny came to quitting his job. What's the easiest path for me? Just to take a walk. I don't need this job. I could, do I could, I could go to the private sector. Have Speaking privately to caucus staff Tuesday, he said he's staying to fight for the identity of the party. I will not let this mainstream conservative party become a, a, an agent for extreme hateful, intolerant, bigoted, and crazy views. And certainly, Kenny still has his backers, particularly in cabinet. I think that there's no better person that we can have to leave this province. The divisions in the United Conservative Party continue to widen. Kenny's not-so-easy task will be to try to bridge that divide in time for the vote on his leadership. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.